हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैनल फार्मा फॉर यू प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर गेटिंग मोर अपडेट्स ऑन आर अपकमिंग वीडियो सो यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर यू so today in this video we are going to cover some questions uh, which uh, based on previous years so here we have a first question is the grape test is associated with measuring the efficiency of and the options are option a is detergents option b is wetting agents option c is suspending agents and option d is adsorbent so which is the correct answer students that a drave test is associated with measuring the efficiency of which one and the correct answer is wetting agents so that a drave test is associated with measuring the efficiency of wetting agents so let's discuss this uh, question with an explanation and the with the help of the, its procedure so coming on the grave test that it is used for measuring the efficiency of wetting agents in suspension it is used in suspension it is used in suspension so what is the procedure of the grave test that in this test 5 g cotton skin is attached with 3 g hook which is tied by means of a thread to a weight and the skin is placed into a cylinder containing the surfactant solution to be tested and is displaced by a liquid and the skin sinks to the bottom so the shorter the sinking time the better the wetting agents again students the shorter the sinking time better the wetting agent and the grey cotton skin is used for this purpose contains natural waxes and oils that make it hydrophobic and wetting is not instantaneous hence the test measures the rate of wetting so he the correct answer is grave test is used for the measuring the the efficiency of the wetting is agent students the question um, arises in niper exam and um, your gpet exam also so try to note down the procedure also so moving on the next question that in supraventricular arrhythmia digoxin when supplemented with dash dangerous means when we just give the digoxin with which drug it leads to the become dangerous and the options are option a is quinidine option b is procaine option c is calcium option d is xylocaine so in supraventricular arrhythmia digoxin when supplemented with which drug when it becomes dangerous so the drug name is quinidine means digoxin when supplemented with quinidine it become the dangerous one so let's discuss with the help of explanation that actually what is supraventricular tachycardia or arrhythmia is that it is a rapid heart beat that develops when the normal electrical impulses of the heart are disrupted means tachycardia means when the heart beats very faster than normal rate so and the what about the quinidine so just uh, we have uh, some points about the quinidine that it raises digoxin levels by inhibiting the renal excretion of digoxin in the body means it inhibit the excretion of the digoxin so the digoxin levels increase may uh, increase 2 to 3 times higher in digital is uh, patients which uh, they are receiving quinidine so so the drug may produce arrhythmia in digital is patient and 
quinidine should not be used or used with very uh, used with precautions so students the drug which is a dangerous with digoxin is quinidine so moving on the next question streptomycin is a and the options are option a is dibasic base possessing an aldehyde carbonyl group Option B is triacetic base possessing in aldehyde carbonyl group and the option C is neutral compound possessing a ketonic group. The option D is acidic compound possessing a carboxylic group. So which is the correct answer and what is streptomycin as chemically? So the streptomycin is a triacetic base possessing an aldehyde carbonyl group. So moving on the next question, tetracyclines are avoided during pregnancy because it is a teratogenic or it may affect the bone growth of fetus. It cause of discoloration of mother's teeth or option D is it may cause abortion. So tetracyclines are avoided during pregnancy because it may cause of discoloration of mother's teeth. So let's discuss with the help of explanation or detail that how will it affect the mother's teeth. So first of all, we will just observe the mechanism of action that the tetracyclines are primarily bacteriostatic and inhibit protein synthesis by binding to 30S ribosome in susceptible organism and inhibit the growth. Students just try to uh, learn that it inhibits the protein synthesis and bind to 30S. It is very important students try to note down in your notebook the, the mechanism of uh, tetracycling and how it will affect the uh, teeth and bones that tetracycline have chelating property. So calcium and tetracycline chelate gets deposited in developing teeth and bone and given from mid pregnancy to fifth month of extra uterine life the deciduous teeth are affected brown discoloration and ill formed teeth are formed where given drug at late pregnancy or childhood tetracycline can cause temporary suppression of bone growth students because tetracycline having chelating property so calcium uh, like calcium is deposited in our teeth so when calcium and tetracycline react it uh, leads to the discoloration of the teeth so moving on the next question match the following with the effects and the here we have our option and uh, here we having the isotonic hypotonic solution and hypertonic solutions so what are the options according to these that isotonic solution as uh, in uh, the cells can survive in isotonic solution and in hypotonic solution the cells cause cells to swell or even to burst means lysis can occur and the in hypertonic solution the cells to leads to the shrinkage so we can understand with the help of diagrammatic or uh, first of all we just have an uh, explanation that in isotonic solutions cells retain their normal size and shape in isotonic solution that because of same solute and water concentration inside cells and water uh, moves in and out where in hypotonic solution the osmotic pressure lower than that of body fluid so when the cells is are placed in hypotonic solution the cell swells and lysis occurs means the burst uh, the cells burst and the lysis occur means the material out uh, came outside from uh, inside uh, came outside from the cell and where in hypertonic solution the osmotic pressure has uh, more than that of body fluids and if cells are placed in hypertonic solution then the cells get shrink. Let's discuss with the help of diagrammatic representation of students. 
we just do our efforts for your better understanding that in isotonic there is no change in shape and size of cells and in um, hypertonic solution the cells get shrink and in hyposmotic solution thus uh, there is a lysis occurs means out uh, the material came outside uh, from the cell so i hope students uh, your doubts are clear about isotonic hypertonic the hyposmotics so moving on the next question the mechanism of action of rifampicin involves and the option a is inhibition of bacterial dna and directed rna polymerase option b is inhibition of mycolic acid synthesis option c is inhibition of protein synthesis option d is inhibition of transpeptidase so what what is the mechanism of action uh, of rifampicin so the correct answer is inhibition of bacterial dna directed rna polymerase so let's discuss with the help of explanation so first uh, the explanation uh, is classified in antibiotic affecting nucleic acid synthesis that uh, uh, which are the drugs which affect the nucleic acid synthesis and these are the drugs that dactinomycin inhibit the dna polymerase where rifampicin and uh, by uh, works by inhibit dna dependent rna polymerase which is asked in the question and doxorubicin is by inhibiting dna gyrase and by direct effect on dna that is intercalating agents that is actinomycin and anthracyline and bleomycin students just uh, note down these uh, mechanism of action of particular drugs because we are just extract from uh, the book uh, to make uh, your notes very short and concise and another one slide is for antibiotic antibiotics which affect these cell wall synthesis and the drugs are vancomycin the when what will vancomycin do that inhibit release of building block unit of nucleopeptide that is udp and acetyl muramic acid penta peptide chain from c55 lipid carrier and bactericin inhibits dephosphorylation of lipid carrier so inhibits regeneration of this carrier and inhibit nucleotide synthesis and the next one is cycloserine it inhibits alanine racemase and alanine ligase due to the structure resemblance with d alanine and next one is penicillin cephalosporin inhibits transpeptidase enzyme due to the structure resemblance with d alanine and d alanine hence inhibits cell wall cross linking so students there is a trick to learn that which are the drugs which is uh, which affect the cell wall synthesis so as you all know as you all observe that uh, there is a green word in starting of all drugs v b c and p and c so there is a trick to learn that why chung bhutia can't play cricket and here we have a just trick to learn this that the this is a trick uh, with the drugs which are and another classification is antibiotics affecting protein synthesis and the drugs which uh, are uh, the affect protein synthesis first one is erythromycin and it inhibits translocation another one is also streptomycin it also inhibits translocation and next one is fusidic acid it also inhibits translocation next one is tetracycline as we already discussed that it comes pleats with trna for a sites and binds to 30s subunit and uh, amino glycosides it also binds to 30s subunit and inhibit protein synthesis and lincomycin binds to 50s subunit and uh, chloramphenicol inhibits transpeptidation steps in protein synthesis by inhibiting peptidyl transferase next and last one is puromycin inhibits elongation of peptide peptide in protein synthesis so these eight uh, antibiotics affect the protein synthesis so students 
we have just classified three uh, in three categories so just to try to note down in your notebook and uh, these are very important because sometimes the question may also ask directly from the mechanism of action so moving on the next question a drug which cause pink to brownish skin pigmentation within a few weeks of the initiation of therapy is and the options are a is itraconazole option b is clofazimine option c is lomifloxacin option d is neomycin so a drug which cause pink to brownish skin pigmentation within a few weeks of the initiation of a therapy which one of the drug is and the correct answer is clofazimine is the uh, is responsible for the pink to brownish skin pigmentation students let's discuss with the help of explanation here uh, that clofazimine causes skin pigmentation gastrointestinal intolerance dryness and rashes and pituitaries uh, so clofazimine is the uh, correct answer which causes severe skin pigmentation and uh, lomifloxacin cause photosensitivity and quinolones have photos these are the actually uh, lomifloxacin uh, cause photosensitivity these are the quinolones and extreme sensitivity to sunlight because it possess a halogen atom at the eighth position due to which it have the high inc highest incidence of phototoxicity if students sometimes the question may also ask that photo how will the phototoxicity occur and if you find the option uh, if you find the option with eighth position then it is the correct answer students just observe the questions carefully and uh, try to read um, out and the next question is chemical name of amoxicillin option a is 6d alpha amino p hydroxyphenyl acetomidol penicillinic acid and the option b is 4d alpha amino para hydroxyphenyl acetomido penicillinic acid and option c is beta hydroxy analog of benzyl penicillin and option d is alpha carboxy benzyl penicillin so what is the chemical name of amoxicillin students the correct answer is 4d alpha amino para hydroxyphenyl acetomido penicillinic acid so option b is the correct answer now next question is luminescence is the term applied to and option a is it is absorbed radiation option b is re-emission re of previously absorbed radiation option c is excited radiation option d is transmitted radiation so luminescence is the term applied to applied to re-emission of previously absorbed radiation so here we have an ex just explain a simple explanation that luminescence is the term applied to re-emission of previously absorbed radiation now next question and the last question of this video students that fumaric acid is used in gelatin capsule is as option a is as a plasticizer as a antioxidant as a solubilizer or as a opacifier so fumaric acid is used in gelatin capsule cell is used as the solubilizer let's discuss with the help of detailed description here we have just a table that uh, in this table ingredients is given and uses so uh, first is gelatin it is the main component of capsule next one is uh, glycerin it is used uh, pl as plasticizer in the ratio of 0 0.4 to 1 and the methyl as we all know methyl paraben and propyl paraben is used as preservative lakes and dyes and pigments are used as colorants TiO2 or titanium dioxide used as opacifier where ethyne and vanillin or essential oils used as flavoring agent last but not the least is fumaric acid which provide acid solubility which is asked in the question and reduce aldehyde tanning of gelatin so students this is all about this video I hope students you like the video so please subscribe and hit the bell icon for uh, getting more updates on our upcoming videos thanks for watching